my dear viewers welcome to my youtube channel today in this episode we are going to discuss about a transformer test so subject of the day is winding dc resistance test of a transformer we shall discuss how winding dc resistance test is performed by using a branded testing kit on a 132 by 33 kb star delta transformer by simple animation please watch why measure winding resistance to evaluate possible winding damage such as open and interturn sort of winding to identify contact problem to check proper functioning of the tap changer to calculate copper loss i square r loss to calculate the winding temperature to identify loose connection and broken strands of conductor selection of test current range according to iec it is recommended that test currents are 0.1 to 10% of rated current care should be taken to never exceed 10% of rated current this can cause erroneous reading due to heating of winding the test is carried out by passing a known current through the winding and measuring the voltage drop across the winding this measured voltage and known current are then used to calculate the resistance of the winding which should be within the expected range for the transformer to function optimally the test set employs a very simple principle of ohms law v equal to ir that is r equal to v by i where r the resistance i the current and v the voltage a simple demonstration is given by a simple animation where we are going to measure secondary resistance of a 240 by 12 volt 3 watt small step down transformer we see the arrangement and the result also we sent 1.00 ampere current and voltage drop that we get is 7.920 volt therefore as per ohms law rm equal to 7.927 ohm which is nearly equal to 8 ohm measured resistance by multimeter alone as said earlier the transformer on which testing will be conducted is a 132 by 33 kb star delta transformer that means primary windings are connected in star configuration and its secondary windings in delta configuration as shown in our picture on star side testing may be conducted by two ways one using single phase and neutral number 2 using two phases which test we shall prefer depends on our factory test result and according to factory test result we shall conduct test 
by using second option that is two phase for better comparison with the factory test result as available we shall get resistances of two windings by measurement which are in series so average resistance per phase is important for further calculations on delta side we have no choice other than conducting test using two phases here measured resistance will be equivalent resistance of the three windings before conducting test the transformer should be kept off and isolate for a sufficient period of time to get same winding and while temperature because temperature may affect the test result so temperature of oil should be recorded in each test now connections of testing kit with transformer bushing terminals will be such as per we have desired earlier before starting the test we have to check proper functioning of tap changer at any side we shall conduct test on any pair r y here keeping tap position at number 1 then we will proceed Two, three, four, five, up to seventeen. Let watch the testing procedure at tap position one between R and Y. test on next pair that is between y phase and v phase may be started keeping tap position at 17 and then at 16 15 14 up to tap number 1 like this test on rest fair b and r may be started from tap position 1 test results are to be noted now test at lv side
Now we have test results of HV side at position 1 and result of LV side also. Now we calculate resistance RS at desired temperature 75 degree centigrade. Measure value of resistance between 1R and 1Y RM is equal to RA plus RB is equal to RAV R average is equal to 0 0.6567 ohm. Then RM per phase is equal to R average by 2 is equal to 0 0.3282 ohm. Taking RM is equal to 0 0.3283 ohm, TK is equal to 234.5 ohm degree centigrade, TS is equal to 75 degree centigrade, TM is equal to 35 degree centigrade. We get RS resistance at 75 degree centigrade is equal to 0 0.3770 ohm. Similarly, we get RS at temperature 75 degree centigrade of LV side winding is equal to 50.903 ohm. In this way, calculation be made at all taps for LV side and keeping tap at number 9 for LV side reading thereafter. Please subscribe, share and like. Also do comments. Thank you for watching this video.